Happy Mail Queen. Happy October 1st to everybody. Today I wanted to share another Alina Craft Design Team project. I went back to creating more Halloween projects because I wanted to play with the new dies that she sent recently as part of her September release. So let me go ahead and show you the dies that I used. I used all of these dies the jack-o-lantern, the bat, the trick-or-treating kids, the web, and this word die that says Happy Halloween. So this is fun, fun, fun. I also use this die right here, which, which is part of a nesting die. Uh, I believe it is called the Teardrop Oval. And I can't, I don't know what I did with the rest of the dies, but anyway. I also used this pizza box die and I only used the box I didn't use the letters and then I also used several of her sequins so I used some of my favorite ones like this clear one I think I used this one as well the bigger uh, clear gems as well as I want to say the purple maybe the gold those are usually my go-to's and then I did use one of her I think these are one of the newer jumps that she sent me these purple hearts they are so pretty and looks you know it's just looks amazing in my Halloween projects so let me go ahead and share what I created for you guys so I started out with the making the boxes, the pizza boxes, and here's my first pizza box. This one um, is using the Pinkaboo paper from Michaels, and the bottom part is metallic cardstock from Amazon. And if I remember, I will leave the link. And here, as you can see, I used that teardrop oval. There is the Happy Halloween uh, die, word die, and um, I used I used this purple um, coordinations paper from um, from Joann's, but I also added some gold stickles because I felt like you you know it just needed more I don't know uh, glitter. And then I used the bling from Alina Craft. And I believe these are the purple ones. And then this is a spider from Michaels. There is the web. And the web, I used a, uh, an, a paper from, I think uh, I had gotten it from Hobby Lobby. But uh, I want to say it's a DCWV paper. But anyway, it, it has like this uh, like cracked glass up design on it and then what else I pipe pop them up on two millimeter foam and then underneath this foam I believe yes I used um, the Alina craft uh, foam it's actually a 3m foam from her shop I'll make sure I leave the link down below and here's that heart gem and I haven't put anything in it yet, but uh, if there's time, maybe we can do that together at the end of the video. But let me share all the boxes with you first. For my second box, I made this one right here. I used the jack-o-lantern. Um, oh, this was another die that I used that I'm sorry I forgot to pull, but I will make sure I leave the link down. And it says treats on it and it has the shadow uh, layer on the bottom. Again, I used that oval, teardrop oval, uh, this uh, bat uh, wings are from my stash. I also used some scatters from Hobby Lobby. And then there's that purple gem and another purple gem right here. And again, pop them up on the, you know, with the foam tape from 3M. And the bottom is pink, as you can see there, so it looks like that. Lots of room. 
um, these boxes, I believe measure four by four, I think, I wanna say, I believe the boxes measure four by four once assembled. Close to it, like three and seven eighths. So very close to four by four. And then for my third box, I used the trick-or-treating kids. And then I layered their little baskets, uh, you know, just using a variety of papers. And then there's the little bat. I used a glossy paper from Michaels. And then I popped up this trick or treat. Uh, this is a different die. Uh, this is a die from my stash. Um, it's an, it's not an Alina Craft die. I did um, pop it up on black foam. And then this is a bat that I die cut and I can't even remember exactly where this bat came from but um, I just stuck it on there and then I used the bling all over and there's the bigger bling down here and I think it came out really cute so I didn't you know go too crazy trying to layer them and everything I just wanted to create you know a little scene here a trick-or-treating scene a little um um, pumpkin patch and then um, just a cute little Halloween happy Halloween with the uh, webs and the spider so all right so what can fit in here well let's take a look now I do have some treats okay so I have my bowl of candy right here lots of treats yes I'm starting early <laughs> um, let's go ahead and see what fits in here okay well it looks like the hello panda will fit with lots of room for look at this some snickers and maybe one of these treats so there's that uh let's see how many snickers will fit in here all together it can fit oh here's a milky way so, looks like it can fit probably nine, nine pieces here, right? That's what it looks like here. Looks like I can fit that many. So that's good to know because I wasn't really sure. So nine pieces in there. Isn't that cute? Nice and snug. And it closes nicely. All right. And then, of course, you can also put these. Because these are fun and yummy. And I'm sure it's about the same amount. Because I don't think you can put 12 in there, right? No. Pretty sure it's not going to accommodate 12, but um, that seems to work right there. So, yeah, so lots, lots of room to put candy in there and with more room. But you could also put crinkly paper in there and then you can give that to your pals. So that is it, you guys. I hope you guys liked my uh, pizza box treat boxes and let me know what you think give me a thumbs up please and uh, leave me a comment and thanks so much for watching again and I'll talk to you guys later bye